me. I've chosen Psalm 37 because it became very dear to me last year and sustained me through one of the hardest times in my life. We faced a very difficult family situation and due to go to family court to try to regain contact with our three great-grandchildren on the 12th of November last year. The prayer diary, beginning the 11th of November, was written by dear Guy and focused the whole fortnight on this psalm. For me, it was a gift from God that could have been written just for me at this heartbreaking time. So Psalm 37. Do not fret because of evil men or be anxious of those who do wrong. For like the grass, they will soon wither the green plants, they will soon die away. Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and enjoy safe pasture. Delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust in him and he will do this. He will make your righteousness shine like the dawn and your justice like the noonday sun. Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. Do not fret when men succeed in their ways, when they carry out their wicked schemes. Refrain from anger and turn from wrath. Do not fret, it leads only to evil, for evil men will be cut off, but those who hope in the Lord will inherit the land. A little while, and the wicked will be no more. Though you look for them, they will not be found. But the meek will inherit the land and enjoy great peace. The wicked plot against the righteous and gnash their teeth at them. But the Lord laughs at the wicked, for he knows their day is coming. The wicked draw the sword and bend the bow to bring down the poor and needy, to slay those whose ways are upright. But their swords will pierce their own hearts and their bows will be broken. Better the little that the righteous have than the wealth of many wicked. For the power of the wicked will be broken, but the Lord upholds the righteous. The days of the blameless are known to the Lord, and their inheritance will endure for ever. In times of disaster they will not wither. In days of famine they will enjoy plenty. But the wicked will perish. The Lord's enemies will be like the beauty of the fields. They will vanish, vanish like smoke. The wicked borrow and do not repay, but the righteous give generously. Those the Lord blesses will inherit the land, but those he curses will be cut off. If the Lord delights in a man's way, he makes his steps firm. Though he stumble, he will not fall, for the Lord upholds him with his hand. I was young, now I'm old. Yet I've never seen the righteous forsaken or their children begging for bread. They are always generous, lend freely and their children will be blessed. Turn from evil and do good, then you will dwell in the land forever. For the Lord loves the just and will not forget, forsake his faithful. They will be protected forever, but the offspring of the wicked will be cut off. The righteous will inherit the land and dwell in it forever. The mouth of the righteous man utters wisdom, and his tongue speaks what is just. The law of his God is in his heart. His feet do not slip. The wicked lie in wait for the righteous, seeking their very lives, but the Lord will not leave them in their power, nor let them be condemned when brought to trial. Wait for the Lord, and keep his way. He will exalt you to inherit the land when the wicked are cut off. You will see it. I've seen a wicked and ruthless man flourishing like a green tree in native soil, but he soon passes away and was no more. Though I looked for him, he could not be found. Consider the blameless, observe the upright. There is a future for the man of peace, but all sinners will be destroyed. The future of the wicked will be cut off. The salvation of the righteous comes from the Lord. He is their stronghold in times of trouble. The Lord helps them 
and delivers them. He delivers them from the wicked and saves them because they take refuge in him. This is the word of our Lord. Thanks be to God. This psalm is for anyone enduring times of trial. It reveals God's character, awesome in his goodness, faithfulness, trustworthiness, compassion, and above all, his love and care for his children. It also shows us the kind of life God expects and how we should respond to life's problems and difficulties. It also clearly reveals the outcome for the wicked, that is, those who reject our loving God. I have learned so much from this rather long psalm, so today I'm just focusing on verses 1 to 8. David knew how hard it was not to fret, so three times we read, do not fret. Fretting is worrying about things we cannot control and is a sin. No matter what our fear or worry, COVID-19, loss of a job, family difficulties, financial or health problems, God is on his throne and is in control. We are to trust him, his plans, power and love, remembering that he works only for our good. In verse 3 we read, trust in the Lord and do good. These things are inseparable, a lifestyle involving action, obedience, doing the good that God commands us to do, patient endurance, rejecting our own sinful desires, no matter what the situation. Verse 4 says, Delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you your heart's desire. If we are to, de to delight in him, we need to develop our own relationship. That requires an investment of time and effort but will lead to rejoicing in him and responding to his will. The reward is receiving our heart's desire, which may be a personal desire or the spiritual desire of a heart that yearns to get over closer to God. Both happened in my case. For me, through this psalm, a deeper heart understanding of my Father God and my desire in that, with thanks to God for answered prayer, the court restored our right of access to the children. Verse 5 says that we are to commit our way to the Lord. Commitment is a deep, satisfying relationship. This means trusting him with our burdens, worries, fears and circumstances, taking all things to the foot of the cross, leaving them there and trusting in his unfailing love. God sent Jesus to the cross for just such difficult times that we may not be burdened. In Matthew 11 verses 28 to 30, Jesus said, Come to me all who are heavy laden, and I will refresh you, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Trusting in God's perfect will and timing will lead on to verse 6 which says he will make your righteousness shine like the dawn and the justice of your cause like the noonday sun. God loves and honours righteousness and justice and I can witness to that in the decision of the family court. Verse 7 Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. Father God longs for us to sit quietly with him and share all our concerns with him. I know that I still need to find more time to do just that, spending more time in listening and talking to him, just sitting patiently, enjoying his company. David reminds us not to fret about things that are going on around us, that our focus should be only on God. Finally, verse 8, refrain from anger, turn from wrath, and the fifth time, do not fret. Here David is encouraging meekness, and that means taking control of our anger, using the power of the Holy Spirit to let go of anger, because if we do not, it will lead to sin, saying or doing harmful things. 
We have to let go and let God in these situations. We must not fall into the sin of fretting over the deeds of the wicked. These eight wonderful verses help us delight in the love of our Father and find his peace in the midst of life's storms. Jesus says in John 14 verse 27, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. Do not let your heart be troubled and do not be afraid. And his final words, just before he was taken back into heaven, and this from Matthew 28 verse 19, And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. So finally a prayer, and I've based this prayer on Guy's prayers from that November prayer diary. Heavenly Father, help us not to fret or get over anxious when trouble, storms or crises arrive. Increase our faith and trust in you for every circumstance or situation. Thank you, Father, for all you've done in our lives, for our families and our church family. Father, we pray that your righteousness in us may shine like the dawn. Thank you that you uphold the righteous with your right hand. May our cause always be your cause and shine like the noonday sun. May your spirit in us illuminate many and turn them from the darkness into light. Help us to wait patiently for you. Take away our frustration and anger and please forgive us when we fall victim to it. We thank you that you deliver us because we take refuge in you. Thank you, Father, for your gracious love for us, that you will never leave us nor forsake us. We thank you for all your promises in this psalm and that they are yes in Jesus. May we live each day in worship, praise and obedience to your will confident that if we delight in you, you will give us our heart's desire. May we commit our lives, all we do, say and think to you, for your glory, and in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. <laughs>